Iron Green Reaper supposed to be? Still. Yes. But they're cute. 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 Milk. Cute. Milk. 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 Huh? Where am I? What was I doing just now? I tried searching through my memories, but all I met with is a blank. What a strange feeling. It's almost as if my mind is empty. On top of that, I can't feel my body. I tried moving my arms and legs, but I don't sense any response. Am I dead? I guess if I am, there's really nothing I can do about it. I should just accept it and let myself rest. I was joined by silence as I attempted to clear my mind. But it had only lasted for a few moments as I started hearing something. Voices? They sound muffled, but I could separate the two of them. It sounds like two females talking to each other. Not a second passed and a strange feeling slowly came creeping in at the back of my hand. It was like my senses started regaining itself. Septing is pressed at the back of my head. Septing. Soft? And warm? What is this strange feeling? It's something I've never felt before. More and more my senses come back to me at least what I was feeling. Are these a woman's tides? I could visualize its shape, not to mention to feel so warm. My head is definitely resting on a woman's tags right now. Oh, I think it's waking up! Is he? I heard the chill voices again, but this time they were actually audible. Hey, human! Can you hear me? Human? Is she referring to me? My body was startled for a quick second, and I felt something touch my forehead. Is she... caressing my head? Human! Wake up! As the voice called out to me, I felt strength coming back to my body, and I was finally able to open my eyes. But greeted me is a cute girl staring straight into my eyes. Which pair of eyes are we talking about, bro? Well, I couldn't help but avert my gaze to the other two things looking down at me. Hi. And uh, you two. They're big. Hey, human. Can you hear me? Are you okay? She's talking to me, right? And mine, heaven. Hey, what? about? Did you hit your head or something? Well, that might actually be the case, as I don't remember anything. Where am I? What happened to me? Hi. Let me have a look at them. A smaller girl suddenly came from my other side, wearing a word look, and she stared at me. Yo, I know it was futile. I tried thinking if I've ever seen these two girls before. It was to no avail as my mind could still not form any memory. Why are you two? I'm sure this must be really confusing to uh, for you. Even we are confused, as something like this never happened. Something like this? What do you mean exactly? How should I explain it? No, no! Let's slow down a bit! Why don't we start by introducing ourselves? My name is Dew! 
And this small girl is called Sui-Sui! Don't introduce me with your stupid nicknames. Sui-Sui. Not Sui-Sui. Ah, oh, come on, Sui-Sui, you know it's a good name. No, it's not. Can we get back to the matter at hand? Alright. How about you, human? What's your name? My name? My name is Jeff. That's weird. I don't even remember my name. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember my name. <gasps> Your account? Is that really bad? Then you could at least tell us what you want to be called. Unless you want us to call you a human. Huh? What I want to be called? Makamsha. You can call me Makamsha. Wait, ma, ma, Makamsha, is it? I'm still just gonna refer to you as human, though. I've been wondering about it, but why do you keep calling me human? It's because you're human! Am I? Well, yeah. At, I at least know that much. But why would you, another human, call me that? That's because we're not humans like you, Makamsha. You're not... humans? That's right! We're cream leapers! That's scary! Huh? Green leapers? Is this some kind of joke? No, it's not. We really are cream reapers. Booga 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 booga. No, no. How could that be true? Aren't cream reapers supposed to be scary? Booga 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 booga. All I see in front of me are two cute girls and a pair of milkers. Oh my! Are you directly hit at me, human? He wasn't just referring to you, he was hitting on me too. And don't get so excited just because you were called cute. Well anyway, Makamsha, I wouldn't be so sure about calling you a human. Huh? What do you mean by that? You see, humans aren't able to stay in our world. When a human enters our world, they quickly lose their strength and wither away to become a soul. This place is made for Gleam Reapers after all, but you are still able to maintain your body. Just that fact alone proves that you are no longer human. Um... No longer human? Not having memories is actually helping me in this situation. I was able to accept their words even though they sound unbelievable. If what you're saying is true, then... What am I? We're not so sure about that either! This is the first time something like this happened after all. <laughs> I don't know how should I feel about this situation. Uh, I have no recollection of what I was doing before. Or who I am even. If I had memories I'd probably feel distraught. But right now I just feel so confused. Then what is going to happen now? If I'm here, doesn't that mean I'm already dead? Most likely. It's better not to hope for anything and just assume that's actually the case. Now we need to find out what actually are you and how all this happened. How are you going to do that? You don't need to worry about that. We have Micah to take care of you. Micah? Is that another Reaper? Yep, a gigantic pair of... Milk! Of course she is! She specializes in research and all about their world and yours! I'm sure she'll be able to find out what we need to do with you. Yeah, we should come here so she can check on you! Let's go, human! 
little bit maybe I never got a chance to choose that so eh, questions that I could ask for choosing that wait let me rest for a bit are you not feeling okay so Magnus or did my text just feel that good that and I would like to make those shoe my pillows they do yeah, your tags feel really soft. Huh? What? What are you saying, human? You're not supposed to go to the, the deck ring yet! I just want to keep pressing on them. No, no! You can't do that! Why not? I've been doing good all this time. I slowly wrapped my face on you several times. Hey! Don't do that! That's cute. Are you seriously flirting when you just met? <laughs> so she pulled me away from you and she quickly distanced herself from me while covering her tags. <laughs> okay, that was... Yeah. Aren't you living with you? I have some questions. I just have a few questions with Skull. Spooky. I just have a few questions before we go. Huh? What is it? How did I get here? How exactly did I get here? A portal suddenly opened when me and you were to uh, talking, and your body emerged from it. Huh? A portal? It's the same way how a reaper would leave and enter our world. After that, Neo insisted to have you rest in her lap. And you finally woke up after a few moments. I see. Do you have any more questions? Are you two really the Grim Reapers? That's supposed to be really scary? Of course we are. We have no reason to come up with a lie like that. I guess so. It's really just hard to believe I'm actually looking at the Grim Reaper. Are you implying something? Huh? No, nothing. And do you have any more questions? Um, how old are you? Exactly. Haha, why are you asking me that? Don't you know that's rude? Is it? I would know if I don't have any memories. Well, that's true. Just don't ask something like that again. If you say so. Mm, that's all. Thank you. <laughs> I thought we were going to see another Reaper. Ah, uh, uh, right. Just don't stick to your clothes, Jimmy. Should we go now? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, no. <laughs> okay. Take uh, all the time you need. <laughs> uh, that's honestly new. Not gonna lie. Alright. For the fourth episode, it's so I know. Come back to another episode real soon, which is gonna be probably the same length or maybe even a little bit longer. Where we will meet Milka.